The Ketchup Prank, written by Sir Ninji. Today was a day like any other. Ponyville's market had opened for the day, and lots of ponies were outside, enjoying the fine arrangement of goods and services. Fruits and vegetables were laid out in fine arrangements among the stalls. Some stalls had their products on shelves, and some had displayed them in a large bundle, as to attract customers. The marketplace was Ponyville's main attraction for that day, and as for the two ponies, it was the perfect place to pull a few pranks. Behind the clothing stall, Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash poked their heads from the side of the stall as to get a good look at the marketplace. Ready, Rainbow Dash? Pinkie asked. Ready when you are, Pinkie, Rainbow replied with a laugh. Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash snuck behind a fruit stall, small brown bags clutched in their mouths, and looked at a shelf stacked with a large display of fruit. Rainbow Dash started to look at the stall owner, who was busy with a customer. Hey, Pinky, you got a screwdriver in there? Rainbow asked as she put the bag down. Pinky looked into the bag and pulled out a screwdriver with a large red handle. She soon passed it to Rainbow, who sneakily loosened the screws on the shelves. Pinky kept watch of the stall owner, who was still talking to the customer. Rainbow Dash put down the screwdriver and sighed. Okay, it's done, Rainbow said with a hint of giddiness in her voice. Pinky giggled and pulled out a metal magnet. She aimed the magnet at the stall, and the screws flew out of their respective holes, later attaching to the magnet. The shelf unit rocked and fell apart into a large heap. The fruit spilled out into the street, and the stall owner looked in shock as his shelf fell apart. Pinky and Rainbow ran quickly, holding the bags and hiding behind a tree. Once they were out of sight, the two erupted into a fit of laughter. Rainbow landed on her back and laughed loudly. Oh god, that was so rich. Pinky glanced at Rainbow. Tell me about it, did you see the owner's face? I sure did, that was awesome. Pinky and Rainbow's laughter slowly died down, and Rainbow asked. So, what do you want to do now? Pinky put a hoof to her chin and looked behind a tree. She soon looked around and saw Spike carrying a large stack of boxes full of blueberry pies. She smiled and made a small giggle. I think we just found our next victim. Spike walked through the streets carrying a stack of six pie boxes, making sure not to bump into any pony. He sighed as he walked through Ponyville, not noticing that Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash had sneaked up behind him. Rainbow Dash sneaked up behind Spike and snickered as her plan came into fruition. She took in a loud breath and shouted, Spike! Spike screamed, jumping a few feet into the air as the pies scattered, all landing on the shocked dragon, covering him in blueberry filling. He soon opened his eyes after the pies had subsided and heard a loud laughter from Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash. He sighed as he faced the two, seeing a duo trying not to laugh at Spike's less than happy looks. He soon simply asked, Why? Just why? <laughs> That's the fun of it, Spikey. We were only joking, Pinky replied. Spike soon wiped off some of the filling and said, But Twilight needed those pies. Rainbow soon gave a smile and added, Well, she may appreciate a blueberry-flavored dragon, Rainbow replied. Spike sighed and said nothing, walking off in a bit of a huff. Spike opened the door to the library and shut it behind him. Twilight was busy rearranging some books on the shelf. She turned around and said, Hi Spike, how are you? She soon saw the blueberry covered blob that Spike was. Uh, Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash get to you, didn't they? Spike let out a large sigh. How did you know? Spike said. Well, it's not usual to see a blueberry-covered dragon walk into the library, is it not? Twilight said. Spike wiped off some more filling and said, Well, I must say it was a good joke, but you needed those pies. No need, Spike. Pinky came around earlier with a whole batch, Twilight said. Spike stared at the boxes laid upon the table and rubbed his temples with his fingers. So I did all of that for nothing? Mm, pretty much, yeah. Twilight handed Spike a large towel. As Spike wiped himself down with the towel, he asked, Twilight, what's the best way to get revenge? Twilight giggled and trotted towards Spike. I don't really know. What do you have in mind? Twilight asked with a hint of confusion in her voice. Spike cleaned himself off and threw the towel to a wash basket. 
Well, I was wondering if I was going to prank Pinky and Rainbow, but how would I do it? Well, if you were to prank the two best pranksters in Ponyville, I'd best not bother, Twilight said with a sigh. Spike wandered around the room, looking for ways to enact revenge. It's got to be unexpected, something they'd never expect, like a loud noise, an action, or... Spike opened the drawer and found a small sacket of tomato ketchup and some sticky tape. Or a fake injury. Twilight raised an eyebrow. A fake injury. How would you do that? Spike pulled out the items and held them up in front of Twilight. Right. This trick involves you, me, and these two items. Here's how it works. Their planning went underway, and after much rehearsal, they had finally gotten their prank ready. Now, all they needed to do was wait. About a few hours later, Spike had positioned himself near the marketplace, leaning against the wall of a small house, his head hovering over the wall, minding not to burst the sacket, which he had tied to his head. He soon saw Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash laughing in a distance, and looked away, trying his best not to be spotted. Pinkie and Rainbow laughed behind another tree, and both of the girls were clutching each other, laughing like mad. You should have seen how angry that guy got! That spray paint really worked! said Rainbow Dash, still laughing like mad. Pinky leaned up and wiped her eyes. I know! It was so funny! Luckily, it's washable. I hope. Rainbow stood up in all fours and looked around. Right. Who's next on our list? Pinky soon saw Spike standing near a building. I know we've already played a prank on Spike, but he's such an easy target. Look at him! She pointed at Spike, to which Rainbow Dash saw and giggled. Oh, this is too rich! They both nodded at each other and sneaked behind the building. Spike waited for the two to show up, and then... Hi, Spike! <laughs> the two sprang up in front of him, and he jumped back, hitting the back of his head on the house. He soon heard a large bang, and he felt the ketchup run down to the back of his head. Spike thought to himself, It worked! Alright, Spike, showtime. As the two laughed, Spike moaned in grief. Rainbow and Pinky were still laughing at Spike, but then Pinky asked, <laughs> Hey, uh, are you alright? Spike placed a hand on the back of his head. Ugh, my head. Pinky and Rainbow's laughter started to die down, later showing bits of concern. Spike saw his hand covered in ketchup. Oh god, I'm bleeding! Pinky and Rainbow's laughter died instantly, staring worryingly at the dragon. Their faces turned shocked. The sacket on the back of Spike's head slipped behind him into a small bushel of grass. Out of sight of the two ponies, Spike sat down, pretending dizziness and pain. It hurts. It hurts so much. As Spike managed to muster up some tears, Pinky gasped and said, Oh no, you're hurt! Rainbow's face suddenly went pale and she started shaking. Spike, we are so sorry. We didn't know you were going to get hurt. Spike feigned some more crying, still clutching on the back of his head. It hurts. Why would you do this to me? Was one joke not enough? Rainbow gasped and turned to Pinky. What are we going to do? We can't leave Spike like this, Rainbow said. Well, you could go get Twilight. Rainbow grabbed the pink pony and asked. Are you nuts? What's Twilight going to say when she finds out we injured Spike? Just go and get her. It's the only thing we can do. I'll take care of Spike. Rainbow paused, nodded slowly and ran towards the library. Pinky sat beside Spike and wrapped his hooves around him, trying to calm him down. It'll be okay, Spike. You'll be fine. Rainbow's just going off to get Twilight. She'll know what to do. Spike sniffled and said, Okay, thank you for looking after me. That's okay, Spikey. I'm always here to help you. As Spike faked his pain, he smiled mischievously and thought, Hook, line, and sinker. Twilight saw Rainbow Dash heading towards the library, and she got into position. Alright, just keep it cool, and keep it convincing. Three, two, one. Rainbow Dash soon bursted into the library, her face filled with shock, panting heavily. Twilight turned to Rainbow Dash. Rainbow, what's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. Rainbow gasped for breath, thinking about how Twilight would react. It's Spike, something happened to him. Twilight feigned with shock and asked, What do you mean? Is he hurt? Rainbow looked at Twilight and said, He has. It's pretty bad as well. Twilight jumped back and shouted, Badly? Where is he? Rainbow stammered some more, trying to find her words. He's east of the library. Follow me. 
The girls ran out of the library and ran towards Spike and Pinky, who were sitting beside the house. They both stopped in front of him. Twilight soon looked at Spike and asked, What happened? Is Spike alright? Pinky looked up at Twilight and turned pale at the sight of Twilight's utter shock. She managed to gather up some words and said, Uh, Spike was standing up here and we thought it was a good idea to scare him for a joke. He hit his head on the wall here and next thing we know, he was bleeding. Twilight looked behind Spike and saw the ketchup had obviously exploded and made a hoof-sized splat on the back of his head. Now, all she had to do was play innocent. Twilight gasped and said, Oh, sweet Celestia! Spike turned to Twilight, fake tears obviously putting on a show. Twilight? Is that you? Twilight managed some fake tears of her own and then soon grabbed Spike, embracing him. She soon looked at the girls. Sweet Celestia, what were you thinking? Rainbow started to shiver some more. We are so sorry, it was an accident. Pinky soon also became worried. Tears were welling up, and she said, We didn't know this would happen. Please, please don't hate us for it. The plan had gone off without a hitch. Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash were now visibly upset, and Spike and Twilight had been in top form. Now was the time to drop the bombshell. Spike tapped Twilight's shoulder, acknowledging that they have won. Spike started to laugh, and so did Twilight. Pinky and Rainbow suddenly became confused, staring at each other before looking back at Spike and Twilight. The two burst into laughter, which gathered some strange looks from Pinky and Rainbow. Could you two tell us what's going on? Rainbow asked. Spike stood up and said, I think I can. This isn't blood. Pinky guessed. It isn't? Then what is it? Twilight smirked and stifled a laugh. Show them, Spike. Spike walked towards the wall and reached into the grass. He picked up a second of ketchup and said, That's because this isn't blood. It was ketchup. Pinky and Rainbow stared in shock at the second, now knowing they were hilariously tricked. Twilight and Spike burst into laughter again, leaning on each other, trying to contain their laughter. Twilight soon looked at the two. You should have seen the looks on your faces, Twilight said. I know, priceless, Spike replied. Pinky and Rainbow stared at each other again, realizing the events of what just happened. They had been tricked into thinking that Spike was injured, and then they got all worked up about it, descending into pure fear. They realized that the prank was actually pretty good, and they soon started to laugh themselves. Pinky giggled and looked at the laughing couple. You know, that was kind of funny. Rainbow looked at Pinky. Yeah, i never been so scared before in my life. You two got us pretty good. However, Pinky's reaction was amazing, Rainbow said. What do you mean, silly? Your face when the ketchup showed was hilarious. It looked like the faucet had drained the color from your face, Pinky said. You are no different. You look like you were going to burst into tears. The two realized how funny their reactions were and bursted into laughter, collapsing onto the ground. Twilight and Spike laughed harder and also fell to the ground. The four lay on the grass and laughed for a while, trying to catch their breaths. After a short moment, the group's laughter recited and they soon got up. Rainbow gasped and said, So, whose idea was this anyway? Twilight smiled and placed the hoof on Spike's shoulder. Well, I only played along, but it was Spike who came up with the idea. Pinky hugged Spike and said, Did you hear that? Little Spikey Wikey's a prankster. Just like us. Rainbow smiled and hovered over the two. Yes, Spike, you are awesome. How would you like to go pranking with us tomorrow? Rainbow asked. Spike smiled and said, Sure, I'd be more than happy to go. Rainbow soon turned to Twilight. Hey, Twy, want to join us? Twilight giggled and said, No thanks, I don't think pranking is my style. Pinky let go of Spike and said, Come on, you two, I'll show you a few things I got planned for tomorrow. The three soon walked off, with Twilight watching them. She smiled as she trotted back to the library, not saying another word. The End Hello, Ori Pony, Snoggerts here. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If so, be sure to leave a like. Oh yeah, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more readings like this one every Saturday. Alright, well, that's it for me. Have a nice day. This is Snoggerts, signing out.